Tonight, Governor Herbert lays out his plan in the state of the state. Good to be with you. I'm Don Hudson. And I'm Kim Fisher. Thanks for joining us. Now, in his address, the governor unveiled his vision for the upcoming year. Now, he hit on a variety of topics, including the state's economy, education, and his healthy Utah plan. Chief political correspondent Glenn Mills is live at the Capitol with more on the speech and how Democrats are responding. Glenn. Well, you guys, tonight the governor declared the state of the state here in Utah exceptionally strong. He centered his address around the 70th anniversary of the end to World War II. He pointed to our growing economy, which is considered one of the strongest in all of the country, as proof we are moving in the right direction. He then turned his attention to ways we can do better. Honoring the greatest generation, Governor Gary Herbert says they have passed the torch to us. This is our time. This is our charge, and this is our moment. To invest in Utah's future, the governor says it all starts with the economy, which he says has been the priority for the last six years. Our revenue is up, our job growth is up, and our unemployment rate is down to 3.5%. Democrats say true, but not everyone is enjoying the benefits. There are far too many people who are whose wages are stagnant, they're working, but they're working uh, two and three jobs, and they're not getting increases in pay, even though the economy is growing very rapidly. Thousands of Utahns are also being left behind on health care. They have no option for coverage because of a gap created by the Affordable Care Act. The governor's solution is the Healthy Utah Plan. It is a plan that respects our own taxpayers, promotes individual responsibility, and supports private markets. But the legislature must approve the plan, and key leaders are skeptical. I do not think the public is well served by giving them something and, and then taking it away in three years. That's, that's, not, that's not good policy. It's not sustainable. Education and transportation funding could be another uphill battle. The governor is proposing the largest increase in per-pupil spending in some 25 years. He also wants to take $94 million earmarked for transportation and give it to education. The governor says that is where the need is most urgent. These students symbolize the potential of youth all across Utah to become the greatest generation of the 21st century. The governor also hit on continued efforts to clear the air here in the state of Utah, to work together on religious freedom and non-discrimination, and to resolve public land disputes. Now, another interesting announcement tonight, we can expect to see a new office of inspector general to investigate ethics and conduct at the state government. Live at the Capitol, Glenn Mills, good for Utah. And Glenn, we heard the governor talk about healthy Utah. What do Democrats have to say about the health care plan? Well, Kim, all along, Democrats have been saying we should have just gone with full Medicaid expansion as is provided under the Affordable Care Act. They, however, know that that is not a possibility here in the state of Utah, so they are supportive of the Healthy Utah Plan, and all along they've said the sooner the better. There's some serious concern from the Democratic side of all the parties that need to come together, coming together and making something happen. So really, we're going to have to sit and wait. Only time will tell on that one. All right. Thanks, Glenn.